Selam mı? İyi iyi. My name is Eve. Eve. Ya ya. Selam mı? Ciao. Morning my friends. Ha? Good good good. Okay, morning my friends from from the suburbs of Bahirdar, so the capital of the Amhara region. Let's go to to visit the city and enjoy uh, Ethiopian life here in Bahirdar. I came here 10 years ago. I was here in Bahirdar 10 years ago, but actually I cannot recognize anything. It's quite unbelievable how different it is. In in the area where I am, it was uh, 10 years ago. It was only slums everywhere, and uh, well now you see. There's a clinic here, there are big buildings. My hotel is a fancy modern building also. So life has changed a lot in 10 years here. Hey! Salamnu! Salamnu! Hey, camera! Camera no? Yes. Okay? Yeah, okay. Buna! Buna or... Or... Sit, sit. Yeah. Okay. I can sit. Let's sit here, that's my uh, favorite juice place. Video? Video, yeah. Salam. Salam. And then. And then. And then. Avocado, no. Avocado, Ale? Ale. Ah, okay. Can I have uh, and, uh, and, and avocado? And the avocado juice. Juice. Yes. And, and the buna. Yeah. And the buna. Yes. The avocado juice is the. The jewel of Ethiopia. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm a student. I'm a student. So they are having shiro, and Ethiopian people when they when they eat, they will always propose you to eat with them. It's a it's a politeness. No, look at that. Wow. <laughs> Mendo not too much. Mendo not too much. Yeah, this is all for me. I'm a Senegalu. So as you can see, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one having um, the glorious uh, avocado juice. <laughs> Ethiopia, Ethiopia loved avocado juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the most popular juice here, and actually it's very funny because 10 years ago I did not like it at all. But uh, now I just love it. Every time I take a juice, I take avocado juice. Ah, uh, me camera. Yeah, oh, your yeah. camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> so, let's try our first Ethiopian. That's, for me actually, that's probably the best juice in the world. Mm. Oh my god. That's insane. Oh. Ethiopian juices are the, the best in the world. Mm. Wow. Okay, look at that. And so, as you see, the Ethiopian juices, you don't drink them, you eat them with a spoon. Oh yeah, Buna, yeah. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> so good. He's talking about me. He's talking about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, just in Jerusalem. Just, just finish. Just finish. Ah, okay, yeah. Three months. Ten years ago, I stayed three months. I'm a second Three months. Three years ago, I stayed three months. Then I came a second time, and I I stayed uh, one month. But so that's why I turned to finish. Chinalu, Chinalu, Amarinya. Okay. Oh my god, it's so good. 
A beautiful uh, coffee tradition. You like me for Ah. Okay, I'm a second hello. Okay, ciao. I go back. Ciao. Bye, see, you, bye, yeah. see you tomorrow, probably. <laughs> bye bye. Ciao, I'm a second hello. So let's go. Let's continue our uh, Bahirdar adventure. Okay, so I had no time actually to present the video. We're just gonna go to the to the center of Bahirdar, see how it is, just to show you a little bit around. Then we're gonna try to see the the source of the Blue Nile, uh, where the uh, the Lake Thana uh, becomes the, the Blue Nile, and uh, we will see also this evening if we can film one of the wonders of of Ethiopia, which is the cultural restaurants, because here in Ethiopia they have. Uh, they're very proud of their culture, they're very proud of the, all the dancing in the culture. And, uh, and, and so they have cultural restaurants where uh, actually people, so you pay a little bit more for the food. So you have of course like uh, traditional Ethiopian food with injera and, uh, and there is also a dance sometimes and in some restaurants, in some cultural restaurants you have also dance shows. So that's why it's a little bit more expensive because you pay also for the dancers. But first let's visit Bahirdar. And as you see, you have a big, quite new church. And what is surprising is, I think I was here, I'm not sure if it's this one or not, but I think I was here when this, uh, this church was being built 10 years ago. They were building it. And, was, and I went to, to have some drinks somewhere near the church, actually with some locals, to have a tela, which is the, the local beer. And uh, <laughs> what, was, what is surprising is that everywhere here it was all like a kind of slums, uh, like very like a shanty town, like very uh, poorly built houses, and it has all disappeared. Salamu, salamu. <laughs> it's actually amazing how much uh, Ethiopia has progressed in ten years. <laughs> It's quite difficult to understand how can a country change so much in such a short time, actually. So here you have the market, which is kind of the only chaotic area in the city. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And here we arrive at the crossroads, you see there is a small uh, weaver's market. How beautiful it is. So they're all weaving. Salamne. Huh? Money, money, no, it's a no, no. <laughs> they're already asking for money now, <laughs> because I'm filming. <laughs> Look at that, so that's the beautiful, yeah. Money, money. <laughs> no money, no money. So you see, that's the traditional panniers they use for the to, to store the injera, basically. So I guess that's the place where they produce them here in Bahirdar. And that's one of the main streets. Well, that's the street leading to the main street, actually. And there's this guy cooking uh, some fish, which I like very much. Salamno. Benanen. Salamno. Salamno. How many I get? Sosia. So you see, he's cooking this uh, fried fish, probably from Lake Tana. Opala. Asagenalo. So every day when I come to the city, I have my uh, my skewers of fried fish because oh they are so good. Let's sit somewhere to have them. Look at that! There is a bench here. Interesting. With the moon and stars, it almost looks like with the Islam and Judaism together. Hmm. <laughs> Very good. 
I'm so happy to have found this guy. This fried fish is so good. Hi. Mm. Hi. Mm. Done with the fish. Let's go to the city center. So it's, you see that's a fancy, fancy bakery here. And there is a fancy restaurant on the other side where I, where I went quite, uh, quite a few times where the food is really good. So that you understand all this area, for example, we are right in the center now. And uh, all this area did not exist. Uh, as far as I remember, all this did not exist 10 years ago. Everything is new here. Salam. Salam. All these, you see that's, all these did not exist 10 years ago. It's a completely different city basically. And here we arrive in the main street. And uh, you see many big buildings everywhere. See beautiful buildings here, buildings there. Buildings on the other side, and it's all brand new. Ten years ago, basically, I, I stayed in this, in this, uh, in this street, probably somewhere this way. Uh, but uh, actually, I don't recognize the street at all. It's completely different. The trees were—I don't even remember the trees. I mean, they are so tall; they, they must be older. But uh, I don't know how. In Gondor, at least, I recognize some things. But uh, here, I just don't recognize anything, absolutely nothing. It's <laughs> a new world. Salam. And I found a place to throw my thing, finally. Let's cross the road. And another big difference, for example, compared to the countries where I was before, compared to Sudan and, and Egypt, it's actually very clean here. It's, uh, there's no, well, there is trash on the sides, on the side of the road, but not that much. Very little compared to Egypt and, and Sudan. Okay, so now we're gonna walk, try to walk to the source of the Blue Nile. Look at this road, guys. How beautiful, clean it is. Ah, oh, it's awesome. Let's go. Salam. <laughs> ah, look at that beautiful restaurant. How green it is. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. All green, lush, with the bright sun during the dry season. Look at this guy. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. Salam. Can I help you? Uh, it's okay, I'm looking for the source of the Blue Nile. I'm going to the... This is not... There is no uh, source of a Blue Nile. There is only the bridge here. There is only the bridge here, but there is yeah, the... Yeah, but the source, you kind of have to go with the boat from the source. No, you can walk there now. You cannot walk. I cannot walk? I can, you cannot. Maybe you can't see only the bridge. Okay. I'll go have a look on the bridge. And, yes, yeah. almost... Because 10 years ago, I walked to there. Uh, Okay. okay. Okay. Maybe if you want to have a boat and to see. The no, no, I don't need the. I don't need the boat. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. So that's the turn. That's the way. So that's it. You have to go through a village. Probably that's why they tell you you can't go. It's no problem. Salam. Yo, yo, yo, yo, yo. Let's see if I will have a crew following me or not. Salam. Hello. Hello. Salam Nature. Salam Nature. Good, good. I have a friend now. Salam Nature. Fashko. Fashko. Fashko. Okay. In the east. <laughs> Beautiful green countryside, and here have another uh, iconic tree of Africa. 
This is acacia, no? Acacia. acacia. Look at that, how small but uh, wide. Great shade. Oh, look at that. Our first, uh, that's papyrus, no? Yeah. Our first uh, typical, that's the traditional boat of the Lake Tana. Beautiful. Tana. Tana, yeah. Lake Tana, oh, it's very high. So in the Lake Tana is famous, I think they have, they have pelicans, they have high poles as well. Not here, I think. Yeah, a broken boat. Salana. Beautiful, yeah. Wow, very nice. Look at that, guys. So that's the Blue Nile. That's the very start of the Blue Nile. Let's go this way. Yeah, so that's basically, that's the Blue Nile. That's the start of the Blue Nile. And just there is the Lake Tana. So we are right at the source of the Nile, of one of the two Nile rivers. Actually, it's the smaller one. The White Nile provides, uh, comes from Lake Victoria. It provides 80% of the water. And the Blue Nile here comes from Lake Tana here and provides 20% of the water of the Nile River. Look at these beautiful traditional boats. Look at that. Oh, it's full of water. Oh, wow. I guess it does not last very long. It's probably cheap to make. It does not last long. Okay, let's go back. Go back. Go back. Wow, look at this countryside. And here you have all the boats. What's the name of this? Yeah. Seme me manno. Tangwa. Tangwa. Okay. So this is called Tangwa. It's the traditional boat yeah, of the Nile River, of the Blue Nile here in Ethiopia. I think it's made from papyrus. So papyrus is the reeds. It's the reeds of the Nile also. Ah, this is orange. Ah, uh, okay. Dad. Go inside. Uh, this is yours? Okay, so he wants to show me his place. Let's... Orange. Orange, okay, nice. Nice. Okay. Okay, this is No, no, uh, to have some? Yeah. No, but I need to pay. Metobir. Metobir. Metobir. For a, what's a? For a kilo. For a, and kilo? Yeah. Let's give under kilo, under kilo. Yeah. Okay. Now Can I see here? Eh? Come, on, no. come, come there. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at this beautiful house. Wow. Come, come, come, come here. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what will happen. Plastic, Ali? Plastic? Plastic, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Land on Okay. <laughs> so I get the oranges straight from the... <laughs> straight from the field of this guy. This kid following me. Look at that, how beautiful those trees are. It's awesome. What's that? Sugar cane. Very nice. Come on. Okay, I wait here. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. You can go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at that. The dog is here. This garden is awesome, man. I guess that's probably the toilet. Fantastic. Plastic, no? Yellow? Ah, okay. Oh, here is the plastic. Nice. Turn on there. Wow, beautiful. Yes, yeah, nice. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, yeah, yeah.
Wow. This is injera, huh? Wow. Injera. Injera. Don't Turno, eh? Anda. Anda. Ah, no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm a second. <laughs> I have my uh, 100 beer oranges. Salano. Portugal. Portugal. Narga Hotel, Santanu. Narga. Narga Hotel. Narga Hotel, Duma. Sentinel. Savavir. Savavir. Okay.